Hi, I'm Chris Marsh. I'm the sound engineer and production manager for the Ed Sheeran Mathematics Tour. And this is... Uh, Charlie Alvin. I am the audio systems engineer for the Ed Sheeran Mathematics Tour. This show was uh, put together uh, in late 2019, and we knew that we needed a lightweight PA to make this thing work. Um, and we went to Maya at that point and said, well, I love the Leo, I always have used love the Leo, but it's really not gonna work for this. I don't know how to, to, to tell you, but I'm gonna need to look for another box. And they said, don't, we think we've got the box you need in, in development. So from that point onwards, we got heavily involved with them with the development of, of Panther as it, as it came about. And it's no coincidence it ended up being the perfect box for, for this show. The PA is, is built um, exclusively around Panther line array speakers, the bulk of which are the, the L horns, the long throw horn. Uh, we're using 212 Panther in total. Uh, that is divided up um, with six arrays around the center of the stage, each array having 14 speakers in it. They cover the floor of our venues and transition into eight Panther arrays, which cover from the lower bowl seats to the upper bowl seats. Um, of the eight arrays, every single one has 16 Panther uh, per array. Uh, the low frequency component of the show is all handled by uh, 1100 LFCs. Uh, we're using 78 in total which is six stacks of three uh, around the stage in a cardioid configuration. And then we have six hangs of 10 uh, suspended off the masts, uh, again in cardioid. And rounding out the set is 22 leopards, which are our front fills. Uh, they're hung on some custom brackets around the stage. Um, oh, in fact, two X40s <laughs> are yeah, front of house, Chris. I was waiting for you to miss yeah. that. <laughs> so uh, I think we've counted up 324 speakers in total. Practical considerations, it's smaller, it's lighter weight, uh, which saves us on uh, you know, truck space. And in terms of this structure behind us, the engineering parameters um, of how much weight we can actually suspend from the steel cable were, were met exclusively by Panther. It's still a high SPL cabinet, a, a true long throw cabinet, um, but they've really improved on the horn design. So it's an incredibly smooth horizontal and vertical coverage. It's a proper 80 degree box, which minimizes the number of arrays that we might need to cover a 360 venue like this. Hearing the system for the first time was in the stadium in Dublin. Then the first time I heard Ed's actual voice through it was when he walked on stage and said, hello, Dublin. So it was very you know, incredibly nerve wracking. But what I did, in, what I instantly found that I was grabbing an output fader for my near-field X40s, believing that they were still on, and they were not. It really, everything was, was right in front of me. It felt like it was near-field. When we're running Milan Audio to our Panther, we are now running fully digital from, from, the, from the microphone all the way to the, to the speaker amplifier. We are Sennheiser 6000 system, which outputs on AES3, running into our Digico network, um, and then it comes over to PA World and runs AVB audio direct into the amplifier module. So I'm not sure if we're the first to do it, but certainly on perhaps on this scale to run a, a length of digital signal chain in that way is, is relatively new. So we got some great feedback from after the first show of you know from our, our team who've been around the venue and sort of comparing SPL levels and going, do you realize we're within you know one to two dB from like the front row to the back seat? Like that's that's phenomenal. And I and I think, yeah, I believe that. I, you know, it is pushing the bounds of what we're able to do versus previous previous tours. Absolutely.